I'm on my way to the ice bar. That's where we filming it. Um, call time is at 8. I just stopped at Second Shade to get me some food. Um, I haven't eaten nothing all day. So I got me a taco salad from Second Shake. Um, call time is at 8. So it's almost a quarter till 7. So I'm about to hurry up. Try to eat. Well, ain't no try because I am. <laughs> I'm about to eat this real fast and um, be on the way on the highway. <laughs> So, I'm at Del Taco. Y'all, y'all probably don't know about this, or you might. Um, my daddy put me on this when um I lived in California like four years ago. We went to Del Taco like every day because they got like dollar chicken tacos and they be so fat. But um, I'm here, you know. Had a little taste for Del Taco. I used to work here actually. <laughs> Didn't last too long. I quit in like three weeks. I told y'all I do not like working for people at all. And the people was rude. Like my coworkers was rude, and the manager was like, it felt like slavery. Like <laughs> you got to do this and that and that. Like why? Just why? Like mm -mm. I'm not about to take this treatment for seven twenty-five. Well, at the time it was like nine. So. Because I was working overnight, so it was nine dollars. Still, no. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna take the treatment from y'all. Hi. Can I get um two chicken tacos and um a Chipotle dollar? I mean, um a chicken roller. Okay. And that's all. And a cup of water. Three eighteen. Okay. Lying a little long too. But yeah, I could not deal with them, y'all. It was rude. Like, girl was like, "You gotta do this before you leave." And I had another job at the salon. This was like last year, so I'm not gonna miss the job I really want to do uh, that I enjoy for this. No, <laughs> like, you gotta cut tomatoes before you leave. Who? You better tell Billy whatever his name was, Bob, that. He need to do it himself, cause I'm not about to cut no tomatoes. I, no, it was it was terrible work here. Mm -mm, it was not worth it, little nine dollars or whatever like that. Mm -mm, that's when I knew I couldn't work for nobody else. Okay, nobody else. Like mm -mm, and I've been doing here ever since in the salon. I, I can't, I can't even do it. Cannot do it. But yeah, oh, last night was fun, y'all. It was cool, you know, we got to turn up a little bit after we was filming, or before and after. Um, had me in the uh, little section and whatnot. And uh, it was like unlimited drinks and all that. So I'm like, okay, okay, little VIP status, okay. It was cool though, everybody I met was decent, you know what I'm saying, they was cool as ever. That was real cool. I felt like I was just talking to them for maybe like 30 minutes. Wow, well, you know what I'm saying? I felt like we know we could go hang out or something like that. That was real cool, mad cool. And that's good. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I got that type of personality. I mean, people with those, you know, personality traits as well, you know. Because if you cool, you know what I'm saying? We bad like that, then yeah, I don't mind being around you and working with you possibly. So, yep. So, but today is a Monday. I'm just going to be cooling it, you know what I'm saying? Cruising around. Doing the other little gig, you know, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna holler at y'all. You know. So good morning. It's like almost 7:30. I actually got up today, y'all, and I'm so happy about that. Like I've been trying to get up all since last week, trying to get up early. So I got up early today. Got dressed before 7:15. You know, I, I was so happy. Like I was actually like moving. <laughs> It don't take me long to get ready anyway, but I just be so tired, like super early in the morning. So sometimes I like a little lounge, lounge a little bit. But I didn't do that today, so I'm just letting the car and I warm up a little bit before I take off. I'm gonna do um, Uber or Lyft for like an hour. Then I got an uh, interview in Kennesaw, 9:30. Then I have a client at 10, which I'm pro possibly going to be late for, just about like 15 minutes, depending on how long the interview is, which shouldn't be long. So I should be back at the shop about 10.30. Then after that, 
I don't think I have nobody else here tomorrow. Oh, um, yeah, that's mainly it. And then I'm just gonna like drive around, you know what I'm saying? Do the other two things, Uber or Lyft, whichever one, popping more. And um, yeah, so I'll let y'all know how the interview went. And good morning, by the way, and have a nice and productive day. So I just was thinking how um, this time last year, like I didn't feel good about anything, just to be real talk. Like I was really down because things wasn't going my way, you know what I'm saying? Or how I felt they should have went, you know what I'm saying? I didn't feel like I was getting what I deserved, you know what I'm saying, out of life, you know what I'm saying? Especially graduating college, you know what I'm saying? Being on my own for years, you know what I'm saying? I was making sure, you know what I'm saying, I had this and that on my own. So I felt kind of like let down, honestly, by God and myself. Like I let myself, you know what I'm saying, sink this low, woo woo woo. But it's like a humbling experience to the T. Like I'm so much more grateful i've never been ungrateful but i'm beyond grateful you know what i'm saying beyond grateful like words can't even describe how grateful i am for everything even the progress i went through last year it was all to build me back up you know what i'm saying like we are sometimes being torn down you know what i'm saying even when we feel like we were we've been built back up to something you no know, significant sometimes we're torn back down to be even to be something even more you know marvelous <clears throat> And we never really see that, you know what I'm saying? We just see the destruction, but we don't see the reevaluation that was needed, you know what I'm saying? And it's so crazy because you you really grow and you don't even realize how far you came until you just sit and think like, man, I was really at this point, you know, a certain amount of time ago. And it's so crazy because I was not happy about too much of anything last year. Like, I had my sprouts, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know what I'm saying? This seemed like it's okay. This seemed like this is all right, you know what I'm saying? But more bad outweighed the good. And I was just devastated, honestly. So it's kind of like... Uh, it what is not kind of it is a blessing to really for one be in my right mind because some people when it, it don't come together they go and do stuff you know what i'm saying that's not you know proud to speak about you know what i'm saying so for one i'm glad i have my mind my sanity you know my peace you know that's utmost you know i you know i pat myself on the back for that one you know because i could have lost my mind you know what i'm saying got into some trouble but anyways number two uh you know, i'm happy that I was able to just stay strong, you know. I was, I'm happy for strength, you know, because everybody can't go through struggles like that and just still be like, okay, better days are coming. And for three, I'm just, I'm just happy that, you know, what I'm saying I didn't give up on myself, nor did God give up on me, you know, because at times we give up on ourselves and we just completely let go. And I'm so glad I didn't do that, you know, what I'm saying like, a lot of people don't even know, like last year and I thought like 2013 was bad you know I can just point at bad years without I mean throughout my life <clears throat> excuse me you know what I'm saying I can like tell you uh, a lot of stuff that didn't happen that was just like oh, horrific you know it was just like horrifying you no know? and then I was young at the time too like 16 and 17 when things was happening too so it's like I'm thinking those years were you know horrendous and all that stuff but i'm just like man last year man i just could not catch a break and this year is starting off so great and i'm just beyond blessed and thankful like nobody would ever understand you know what i'm saying nobody nobody would ever understand you know what i'm saying the the pressure that was on me and is on me like it's crazy like and i do 90 percent of the time put the pressure on myself but it's like i'm it's just me nobody's helping me you know i'm solo dolo so i'm just beyond grateful you know what i'm saying i would stand i stood my ground and will continue to do so you know what i'm saying the lord is blessing me you know and I, it's just forever something to be grateful about like just don't give up and everybody just keep telling me like don't give up, don't give up. Like, man, y'all don't even know. Like, I've been not gave up. You know what I'm saying? I could have been gave up, like, long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Especially last year. Last year was, whew, that was, the whole year was a Debbie Downer, a negative Nancy, okay? But, you know what I'm saying? This year, I, I pray it continues to get better. You know what I'm saying? It's already great. I just want it to be magnificent. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, it's definitely been a, a journey. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And success ain't easy. And baby, I never thought it would would be easy. But man, oh man, it's crazy. You lose people. You know, 
in all actuality, then you lose your friends, you lose your family. You know, metaphorically, you know, they, they you know, they kind of like dead to you in a way. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's so crazy. You know what I'm saying? You lose everything, you know, then you got to get everything back. This do, that do. You got to worry about this. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a lot. But, uh, you know, it's, it's always great to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, I made it. I made it through that. You know what I'm saying? I can make it through something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, it can only get better. <clears throat> And that it did, and it, it is, and I, I pray that it continues to do so because, man, oh man, it, it's been a journey for sure, for sure. But man, just stay encouraged for real because it ain't easy. It, it definitely ain't easy. And people will tell you to give up. Why don't you just come back home and come do this? And they want you to settle it. But if that ain't what you want to do, don't settle. Like, do not settle ever in life because you would never be happy, never. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad I've never settled, never settled. So I just want to encourage y'all, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like somebody may you know, need to hear that, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like I need to speak on that because, man, I just really thought back today, like, I came a long way, for sure. Even just from last year, even from the next, I mean, the last, like, three or four months, you know what I'm saying? The last three, four months of 2016, it's, it's man... That was it's been it's been a long time coming. Just in that short amount of time, along with the whole year, you know what I'm saying. Along with all these other years, you know what I'm saying that I've been through stuff. But man, just stay encouraged. Don't settle. Stay sane. You know what I'm saying. Stay prayed up. Stay strong and stand your ground for real. So update: I got the job in Kennesaw. Um, they want me to be a permanent person. And I'm like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I haven't decided if I want to take it, you know what I'm saying? First, I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. But now it's like, am I putting too much on myself? Because I usually do that, you know. I just get to working and working and working and working and doing stuff, you know what I'm saying? I just get to going, you know, and I end up getting burnt out, you know. Because once I start, I don't like to really stop. And, um, yeah, so the background check is like $50. So I need to make up my mind before I pay for that. So, um, yeah. But now, um, I'm at Austell Seafood Market, and I just got some good shrimp. Like, I haven't eaten it yet, but I, it's good, y'all. It's good. Austell Seafood Market, they potato, potato salad is bomb, too. And I don't like everybody potato salad either. But, yeah, it's good. I love shrimp. I love seafood, period. Like, I love it. I can live off of it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's the update so far. I'm going to go to the shop later. You know, got some other things in the work. Oh, fam, I think I told y'all fam went good um, Sunday. Yeah, I think I told y'all that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to the shop. You know what I'm saying? Got to get some plans together. You know what I'm saying? We got some things in the works. You know, in the works and works. It's crazy, though, because it's a lot. It's a lot going on. But I like when it's like a rush like that you know what i'm saying i love it i love being productive love being busy love doing stuff like i can't stand out to be moving and being productive so yeah 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 this shrimp is so beautiful it's just so beautiful <sighs> it just make you want to just shed a tear oh, it's going to be so fine. fine i might not even make it out the parking lot with this mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, Lord, yes. So, y'all, I'm finally home. Just left the shop not too long ago. Um, helped, up, helped out a little bit, excuse me. Um, got me a milkshake from Steak and Shake, which I was, like, <laughs> craving so bad. I don't know why, but, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Day is completed. It's been productive. Tomorrow, you get to do it all over again. So, Yo, I look tired. I need some Z's, but yo.